www.thebookhitsbyjoyce.com. Happy Vlogmas! Today I'm going to speak to you about the ball pits that I've just bought from Plante. You can visit them on www.plante.co.ca. They are one of the top orchid nurseries in South Africa. So here's what I've got. This is Phalaenopsis shilleriana. It's an orchid I've been looking for for quite some time. Unlike what you would find in supermarkets or a lot of commercial nurseries, this is a species Phalaenopsis, which means it's not a hybrid. It's one of the many orchids that hybrids were made from. This has got a beautiful mottled leaf pattern, as you can see. It's purple and white, and once it becomes a little bit more healthy, it's going to be green and white. It produces lots and lots of beautiful light purple to light pink flowers that have quite an interesting shape. So I'm looking forward to taking care of this girl until she can become a beautiful bloomer next springtime. The other orchid that I've been looking for for a long time is another tiny species Phalaenopsis. This is Phalaenopsis japonica. She used to be called Sideria japonica, but the name has recently been changed. This makes really gorgeous small thick petaled white flowers that have a little bit of a purple stripe. You can Google the images, but um, I'm looking forward to growing this into a nice little mini that will hopefully bloom for me in next spring as well. The Phalaenopsis that I bought is this gorgeous simple hybrid. This is one of the parent plants, the Japonica, and the other parent plant is a Vandopsis parishi. This has got a beautiful honey spicy smell and the most gorgeous flowers. Look at that pattern. I love this purple and the spots. It's just one of the most gorgeous um, orchids that I've seen in quite a while. And I love this flower shape as well. It's not the common Phalaenopsis shape because it's not a, a complex hybrid. Each of orchids are from the Oncidium Alliance. My two favorite types of orchids are definitely Phalaenopsis and Oncidiums. This one is Oncidium Twinkle. A beautiful miniature orchid. I'm definitely going to have to repot this one. She is um, very fragrant and already has a lovely flower spike here. I'm expecting a lot of gorgeous pink and red flowers soon. Another beautiful smelling Oncidium is this one. Yellow, my favorite color. This is Oncidium Sweet Fragrance. Take a look at these gorgeous blooms. The smell is also very honey-like, quite sweet. Ah, you can smell it perfectly in the morning. Okay. This one is new to me. She just caught my eye. It is... Buracria Nelly Isla Boone. <laughs> Here's the name of the orchid. Beautiful peach colored blossom. Okay. And another one is this Multinopsis. This is Multinopsis Hera Alexandra. Very, very pretty. Drum roll, and now for the big one. One of the orchids that I've wanted for such a long time has been the chocolate fragranced Sherry Baby orchid. I actually got two varieties. This one is pink and red and this one is a deeper pink and a darker red. They are so gorgeous. On the car drive home the whole car smelled like chocolate from where I was sitting anyway. This is just so beautiful and look at these gorgeous flower spikes. I'm expecting them to bloom for quite a long time. Almost everyone who was at the nursery today got a shari baby. Okay. Another big one is this Oncostel Wildcat. I actually have a similar one which is the Oncidium Jungle Monarch, but this one has got really dramatic flowers. I don't know if you can zoom into one of these blooms. I love leopard print. 
can't wear it every day, so it's nice to look at it on flowers. And last but not least is this. Senoida's Wine Delight. She doesn't quite smell like wine to me, but gorgeous nonetheless. Take a look at that. Beautiful cascading blue. This is my first um, Sudnoides orchid, which is why I'm having trouble pronouncing it. I hope that I'll be able to take as good care of this as I've been able to with my Phalaenopsis and the previous Insidia. Really a gorgeous flower. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. I'm going to be uploading a video of the nursery tour pretty soon, as well as some more features from the garden. More videos right here.